The history is clear. For decades, rising health care costs have unleashed havoc on families, businesses, and the economy. And for decades, whenever we have tried to reform the system, the insurance companies have done everything in their considerable power to stop us. We know that this inaction has carried a terrible toll. In the past decade, premiums have doubled. Over the past few years, total out-of-pocket costs for people with insurance rose by a third. And we know that if we do not reform the system, this will only be a preview of coming attractions. A new report for the Business Roundtable, a nonpartisan group that represents the CEOs of major companies, found that without significant reform, health care costs for these employers and their employees will well more than double again over the next decade. The cost per person for health insurance will rise by about $18,000. That's a huge amount of money. That's going to mean lower salaries and higher unemployment, lower profits and higher roles of uninsured. It's no exaggeration to say that unless we act, these costs will devastate the U.S. economy. This is the unsustainable path we're on, and it's the path the insurers want to keep us on. In fact, the insurance industry is rolling out the big guns and breaking out their massive war chest to marshal their forces for one last fight to save the status quo. They're filling the airwaves with deceptive and dishonest ads. They're flooding Capitol Hill with lobbyists and campaign contributions. And they're funding studies designed to mislead the American people. Of course, like clockwork, we've seen folks on cable television who know better waving these industry-funded studies in the air. We've seen industry insiders and their apologists citing these studies as proof of claims that just aren't true. They'll claim that premiums will go up under reform, but they know that the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office found that reforms will lower premiums in a new insurance exchange while offering consumers protections that will limit out-of-pocket costs and prevent discrimination based on pre-existing conditions. They'll claim that you'll have to pay more out-of-pocket, but they know that this is based on a study that willfully ignores whole sections of the bill, including tax credits and cost savings that will greatly benefit middle-class families. Even the authors of one of these studies have now admitted publicly that the insurance companies actually asked them to do an incomplete job. It's smoke and mirrors. It's bogus. And it's all too familiar. Every time we get close to passing reform, the insurance companies produce these phony studies as a prescription and say, take one of these and call us in a decade. 